Oh yeah, it's back out again. <laughs> so you know, like most projects, it's two steps forward, seven steps backward. Or in this case, the engine trans is back out of the car because we got the sweetest deal. So every now and then, you strike Facebook Marketplace Gold. By that I mean this awesome floor pan that's already been welded into a car and cut back out. That's brand new technically still. It's just tack welded. Still new. For 600 bucks, it's a smoking deal. And if you don't know, like right now they're about $1,200, some are give or take. So we're getting this for about half price to try and fix all the holes in this old car. So we've stripped everything out. We've got rear end out, gas tank out, lines out everything you can imagine so we can get the underside of this car looking as new as possible. We're gonna actually strip the paint off of this new pan so that way we have bare metal to go back together and when we paint it we'll have you know the freshest start we can. Um, safety is important. I used to do uh, you could say semi professional painting for a little bit. It wasn't really but uh, yeah this stuff can kick down your health span pretty fast. So, you know, just keep that health bar up. Wear a mask. Wear a mask. I'm gonna climb into this now. The floor is not secure anymore. Is we cut the front area off. Ooh, forgot about that. Could have caught that on fire. Um, we cut the front portion off and we've cut along the back so we know where um, our supports were for the rear of the car. This back seam right here is the end of our floor pan and there's a couple different weird brackets including like a brace right here that kind of be like your rear subframe. Get the majority of this pan out so you can like sit underneath the car and work on the edges and what you're going to do is get an air chisel with a flat chisel and you're just gonna go along that leftover metal and rip it right off. Works like a charm every time, I'm telling you. It's a great, great trick. Wham! was way worse than I thought it was. The more I cut it, the more I was like, yeah, I'm glad I'm doing this. Because like, everything's all rotted out of it. So we've got the floor pan all stripped out. We kind of did some boo-boos here and there where we pulled the, the spot welds through. We have our portion of our frame here that's gonna actually uh, support our front. Gosh, dang. <laughs> I don't know, like earlier you were like, this is gonna be so easy. <laughs> Works like a charm. Every time, I'm telling you. Every time, I'm telling you. Dude. My brain is gone. Oh, I forgot that piece. Idiot! But yeah, we cleaned out all of here. The new plan, or floor pan, will sit inside here. Retarded. We got it tack welded in, then took it home. Obviously, work comes up, you gotta get stuff done. So, uh, now we are back at it again. We've actually done a couple of things to this since then. I'll kind of catch you up. We've gone along here, and you can see we've drilled and spot welded all of this along here. Looks like poop, but it does the job, you know what I mean? <laughs> poop. This pan was all bent up back here from being installed in the car and then removed. 
So when we went to put it in, we had all kinds of trouble getting it in this back area. So I ended up just cutting the lip off. And now we gotta figure out how to fill that back in. We do have some sheet metal for it. But it's all, like I said, it's all bent up. So we gotta get that corrected. We'll put this in, tack weld it in, hammer these corners down and then we will just put in like a pizza slice shape right in the sides. There you kind of see what we got going on here. It's like an ugly pizza slice, but uh, it uh, does the job and it's sturdy. It'll get our support back that we were missing. And like I said, we're just beating this over with a hammer. Nothing, in, nothing serious involved, no geometry or anything like that. Safety squints. All right. That, that is the prettiest thing you ever seen. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Oh. <sighs> well, now that I have shortened my lifespan by like two years. You know, it kind of hurts my lungs. <sighs> This is in, or primered, not painted, primered. But uh, seam sealed, primered, the top of it. The bottom isn't done yet. We still gotta do a whole bunch of cleanup on that. Like the whole trunk area needs to be done. And then we're gonna paint the whole bottom side in one foul swoop. Go figure the new 2S doors doesn't have door hinges. And uh, the ones that were on the blue doors are trash. So I'm still figuring out whether we're gonna put those on today or not. Next time, buy a car with a floor in it. Cause this really sucks. I thought I was cool and I could bang this out the other weekend when we were up here doing this. Mm -mm. Not even close. Not even close. Yeah. Cameraman. Yeah. You're strong, right? No. Oh. It's too dang bad. Come here and get this side. It's heavy. Jack, kill me. All right, so we're at the end of the day here. We got the top of the floor fan all finished. Yet to do is the paint and seam ceiling on the bottom side, but we got to do a whole ton of cleanup on the bottom side. We're going to re-clean our firewall to make it look better because it looks like garbage. Try and fix this rust right here before we do the bottom side. And you can see we got our new to us door on here. Um, this door really isn't that hot of a door. But the cool thing is the door handles work and we can get inside the car now. I don't know if we ever showed you that on video, but like every second gen Camaro, these door handles are broken. Well, yeah, this beautiful floor pan is in. And uh, I say beautiful because the carpet goes over the top of it. So anything with carpet in it looks beautiful. It is actually one piece again. That is the biggest part. And uh, we'll be able to get this project rolling. It is so dirty. like. Then we we did a cleanup video on this, right? It doesn't look like we did a cleanup video, yeah. even though we did. It does kind of look dirty. Almost exactly how it was when I picked up, minus the the scale. Oh yeah, the the tree scale on this was like crazy bad. Should post another picture of the comparison right here. Ha! <laughs> You're the editor.